Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a message for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links will be in the description box down below. So let's get into this reading, Pisces. All right, first we have the ghost of the pumpkin patch, count your blessings. So it's time to have an attitude of gratitude, all right? And for some reason, as y'all know, this, I always, for some reason, have been grabbing this deck lately. And the way I'm sitting, this is my right hand, okay? The right hand path. The right hand is significant because that's the straight and narrow path, right? The left hand is normally the underhanded or that's like the, you know, the other side of things. But as I was doing it, it was giving me the vibe like Jesus sits at the right hand of God. And it started to be a thing because and my body's got chills right now so the number one being significant as individuality you you um standing alone okay so it's giving me the vibe like somebody is not about to be here so it's like transcending or moving over um and so this could be like a loved one of somebody that's passed away already. But it's also giving me the vibe of somebody being sick. Um, so count your blessings. Like it's giving me the vibe like somebody not understanding why a person is, why it's happening to a person. But the thing was, you counting your blessings, you got to experience this person. You got to experience this life with this person. Um... And let me say this, it's, it's, and I don't know if I should say this here, but I think it should, it should, it is, started with a person that inboxed me, and they asked me about the video for the messages, and the message, I, I don't know if I should say this, because literally, I want the person, I'm gonna just wait until the person, because I need the person to answer my questions because I sent them the message, but the message wasn't for them. But I was told to send the message and it's just creeping me out right now. So that's a thing. Um, but just count your blessings. All right. So have an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for the time, the experience, the whatever it is. Just be thankful. Um, the fairy bee, my life is sweet. The number is six, okay? So six being significant or important, that will be also March 1st being there or March 6th, okay? Um, your life is sweet. Be thankful. Count your blessings. Somebody's looking at your life as if you get things too easily. But then this is giving me like a threat. And I don't like that because it's like somebody is looking at your life maliciously to where it's almost like they're wanting to take it. So some type of behavior that is like underhanded is what it's giving me. So six could be significant to you as far as like a number, a person's um, age. It could be your life path number. Um... This ain't giving me good vibes, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say. All right, the hermit here, soul searching, introspection, contemplation, wisdom, truth seeking, being alone, independence, inner guidance, meditation, and consciousness. All the answers to life are within you. All you have to do is ask. Seeking, you shall find the kingdom of God, all right? So ask the question. Whatever it is that you're seeking is for see what I'm saying because this death is giving me a death because this card is giving me a death it's as if like somebody is somebody has it out for you 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, endings bring new beginnings, change, transition, transformation. So, transition and transition and over into the spirit world. Um, or somebody has transitions over into the spirit world. Personal growth always means leaving something behind. So, two separate vibes, but the vibe that I'm getting for real, for real, somebody don't like the, the fact that you changed. So maybe you left somebody behind or maybe you're walking away from somebody or a situation, person, place, or thing. But the person is not liking it to the point where it is, they're, they're almost plotting on you. So an end of a cycle and a metamorphosis. A person don't like the fact that you changed. All right. This reading. All right, so trust your own counsel first. So you may be having the feeling, you may be having this feeling, like something is off, something is eerie pertaining to a person, um, place, thing. It's almost as if a person has a weird focus on you with the Four of Cups being there. Divine trying to point this person in a different direction, but it's almost like they're not, their focus is you, your situation. Um, be careful that your focus doesn't close you off to new ideas. As far as you're concerned, it seems like you also need to pay attention to. Like a person is definitely saying like, okay, this person wouldn't do this to me or this person wouldn't do that. This is like a clear warning from somebody for somebody. Trust your own counsel first intuition sacred knowledge subconscious mind spirituality divine feminine having high morals trust yourself wisdom secrets mystery and things that are hidden so somebody totally giving me a vibe like you have a hidden enemy um somebody that is definitely on something like a malicious type of energy and this person All right, give me some more cards, please. The way this card just fell, flew out, is like a person trying to push you down. A person trying to push you down a, a flight of stairs. A person trying to push you off of a cliff. A person trying to bury you. A person trying to cover you up, okay? Um, Queen, of, Queen of Wands. Courage, confident, independent, focus, zest for life, determination, and joy. They don't like any of that about you. So it's almost like your demeanor is annoying this person. Your natural confidence and talents is something that you can call on always. Again, your life being sweet. It's almost give me another card for Pisces. Um They don't like the fact that it's like things just come to you naturally. And you show up, you're a good person. Um, so they don't like the pet fact that people love you or something. Um, what does Pisces need to know? Let's ask some questions. How about that? What does Pisces need to know? Okay, lover's card being there. How can you celebrate the love in your life? Continue to keep focusing on yourself. Um, love, harmony, relationships, unions, partnerships, sexuality, passion, values, alignment, strength of two together, deep love, and a choice. So... What you need to know is that you are surrounded by love. You are highly heavenly protected. Um, so I think this is just more or less for you to pay attention, be on guard, and to know that someone or something surrounding you is not on the up and up. Like your life looks too good to a person. Um, your energy is because this is like you are you are a gift, a natural talent. You are um, a blessing somebody don't like that so how does this person okay so let me really really dig 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 how does this person that is looking at pisces wrong like how do they truly feel about you and i want to say that only because to me it's giving me the vibe like this person loves you too much like you know what i'm saying it's almost like the energy is 
if I can't have you, nobody else can. That's the energy. So it's like a kind of sick love. Okay, so how does this person truly deep subconscious like feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? All right, so that's nine of swords. I mean, nine of, nine of swords. Nine of uh, wands. So a person is definitely basically tired of you. Okay? So, um, courage, persistence, tired, resilience, attested faith, boundaries, last stop, preparing for worst defense, pessimism. Um, Pisces, believe in yourself and have the courage to continue. So that's giving me like, okay, so a person could be tired of a situation, tired of dealing with you, tired of seeing you. Um, tired of your pers your persistence. It's like you continue to keep going even when you're in uh, courage in the face of opposition. So even when you're in opposition with something or someone, you figure out the solution to the problem and you keep pushing forward. <coughs> so we're defensive. And like I said, this person is giving me a weird vibe because it's like a thin line between love and hate. Either way, this person is tired of you. But meanwhile, it's almost giving me the vibe as well. Like this person, you are this person's karma. You are this person's um, trigger. And like this card says, last stop. So it's almost giving me like, if you succeed, then, or when you succeed, because it's not an if, when you succeed, um, or while you're succeeding, because you're in a process and you're doing it anyway, while you're succeeding, this person doesn't like it. So what does Pisces, well, we already know what you need to do. Keep going. Um... What does Pisces need to know? Just give me some more of that. What does Pisces need to know about this situation? All right, so you holding yourself um, connected. This, so you could be the thing that's holding yourself to this connection or a person trying to hold you to a connection. So negative thoughts. And so maybe when you, if you're talking to this person and maybe you, you know, tell this person about your goals or something like that, they're always going for the negative. Like, that's not going to work. Or, um you shouldn't do that so the thing that you need to know is it seems as though you're blocked but you can take a step so you can move um you can get past whatever the situation is but it's giving me the vibe like um so victim mentality a person wants you to always feel like that somebody's doing something to you or somebody's like it's always a negative thought with this person and so that will be giving me the vibe like, again, you need to get away from this person because you try to figure out what the problem is. Like, how do I fix it? You try to get a solution to the the, the, the issue. You're not a um, wallow in the mud or wallow in the dirt type of person. You're trying to get past whatever this is. All right, let's see. Yeah, a lot of lot of like uh, roadblocks. It's basically saying you need to be on the defense. You need to be on the guard. You need to watch out um, because it's almost like secretly this person has been setting you up, like adding roadblocks and you know, uh, or making you take the long way around. So maybe the person might not be there when you need positive things done, but they'll definitely be there when it's something negative or you know what I mean or. And it's weird because it's like, if something's being offered to you that's positive, this person won't let you know. Or they won't, like I said, they won't help you when it's something positive. But if it's something negative, they're all on go for it. So again, trying to keep you like my, uh, small and in a box. 
All right, give me a uh, another part of her Pisces. All right, strength, just be strong, um, and this too shall pass. Courage, passion, subtle power. Courage in the face of opposition, and I think I already said that already here. So influence, inner strength, focus, and compassion. Um, you don't know your own strength until it's tested. And right now, I feel like your strength is totally being tested when it comes to this person or what it pertains to this situation. I, I get the vibe like, strongly guard yourself protect yourself don't give this person easy access to you because okay so death even still being there that there's an ending that's going to happen so either you're going to end the relationship um, and move away, get away from the person because to me it's also high priestess being there. You see this, but honestly, I feel like somebody's feeling like they're stuck, like they don't know what to do. Maybe they don't have money, or maybe they don't have anywhere to go, or um, but you feel that this person, like to me, it's almost like you need to reach out to some uh, some agencies to kind of help you. because this don't feel good to me. You, your life is sweet. You get things too easily. So this could be also like a stalking vibe, a person that you already tried to get away from um, or you manifested a life away from, but this person continues to keep trying to like track you because that's the vibe that I'm getting, like a tracking or a person put a tracking device on you, that might be the other thing that how you know about this person. But they're saying count your blessings. Um, have an attitude of gratitude, which is also giving me that it is already being um, dealt with, you know, because God sees everything. But on the other hand, it's giving me somebody passing over to the spirit realm. Somebody has already... So it might be a passed over loved one or somebody else basically, you know, watching over, protecting, making sure that they're on guard, making sure that they, you know, because you might just be the person that's tired. You might be tired of the situation. You might be tired of having to look over your shoulder. You may be tired of dealing with, you know, and you're just wondering when, when am I going to be released from whatever this foolishness is? But it's like two different perspectives. Somebody is looking at you from the outside in and it just makes you make everything look easy. They don't like that about you. They don't know the hardships that you have encountered. They don't know the stuff that you go through. So it's almost like, again, the person trying to always create roadblocks or, or some type of hardship for you to make them feel better. So, Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.